Uh, when I started the pinup modeling, it had just been one of those goals I always wanted to do. And I kind of put it on the back burner and I thought one day I'll get to it. But for a while I want to build on my modeling career. Uh, so I got halfway into that and I thought, you know, now is the time. I built up a little bit of a fan base um, and this is just something I want to pursue. Uh, I ha didn't have any formal training in putting together a TV show, producing any of the technical stuff, so I thought, well, I'm going to have to find people to help me on this. The way that I, I met her, um, we had a relationship online for, you know, a good few months before we actually met each other face to face and, you know, developed this show. I'd done quite a bit of acting throughout my childhood, but then I took a break after high school and whatnot. Um, it's something that I kind of wanted to pursue. I always thought one day I want to be in, you know, really terrible B-movies. I was never one of those girls that said, one day I want to be the next Julia Roberts. One day I want to win an Oscar. But it does help to be a model. People don't realize that there is, an, there is a somewhat acting skill for that. You're not, you're not technically acting, but you're, for each photo shoot, you're doing something a little bit different with your personality. Basically, when I was growing up as a young girl, I grew up in a very, very small town north of Dallas, and we, out in the country, out in the boonies, I grew up on a farm, and I, we did not have cable television until I was about 16 years old. So there was quite a number of years there during my, my youth, my childhood, where we had about seven or eight TV channels. And a couple of those TV channels would show extremely horrible B-movies, they would show Elvira's show, they would show late night TV, and I would sneak up late at night when my parents, you know, had gone to bed already, they weren't lording over me, and I would watch these movies, and I was so fascinated by them. I mean, for not even so much for that you know, it was a naughty thing to do to stay up late, but I was just entranced by these movies. There was just something about them that drew me in, and the only way I can pinpoint it now is I think it was a combination of my building attraction to the 50s, which I, that is my favorite decade, and the other fact of it was is that I felt like I was a misfit growing up. I didn't have many friends, and I was a very weird child. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> and um, these were, when I would look at the monsters in these movies, I would somehow identify with them because they were outcasts, no one accepted them, and all they really wanted was someone to love. They just wanted a beautiful woman to spend some time with. And even as a child, I remember thinking when the woman, in the end, would always go back to the handsome hero, I thought, why didn't she run off with the monster? Because the monsters, to me, treated the women better than the heroes did in those movies. They were very tender with them. They put them up on a pedestal and thought, she's so beautiful, she'd only run away with me. And so they would take her away and take them to her, their lair and set her down gently. Of course, she had always passed out from the shock. But the hero, to me, was always too into himself. And I thought, why is she running off with him and not the monster? On the flip side of that, we got a lot of old movies as well. MGM, lavish, 40s and 50s musicals. And I thought, watching those women, they were beyond anything I'd ever seen growing up on a farm. I mean, the, the level of glamour is still not even seen today. And it was just, I thought they were the most beautiful women I'd ever seen. And I thought, one day, I want to grow up and look like one of those women. So it was basically just a hybrid of all of these things smushed together. And when I started modeling, of course, I went into the, the 40s, 50s pinup style because that's what I loved. And that was just when it was the popularity of what is called the neo pinup was starting on the internet. And so basically, the character of Jamie Dudley is just a conglomeration of all of my love since childhood of monster movies, 50s glamour and that's what she represents.